So it's October, the spoopy month, time for spoopy time. So uh, here is a very real, very real uh, spooky story that totally did happen to me once. Uh, it, all, it all started when I went to a yard sale and I was looking there and I saw a copy of Blaze Blue um, for the Nintendo uh, NES. And I'm like, oh, that was that was my childhood. Uh, so I bought it from the person running the yard sale, who was a mysterious man. Uh, he he was like wearing like cloaked and hooded, so I couldn't see his face. And like, I, I got a really ominous feeling from. But I'm like, that ah, you know, I, I I just thought. <laughs> Never mind, whatever. Uh, so, so I bought the Blaze Blue for the NES at my childhood, and I took it home with me. So, took the copy home, uh, you know, p booted up the the PlayStation, and then what happened was I started playing the game, and it was just like the childhood that I remember. But then I noticed that something seemed wrong because I was on the character menu screen and instead of Ragnar the Blood Edge, it was Ragnar the Haunted. And I thought, well, that seems very um, uh, unusual, but, I, I, you know, I decided to uh, select the character anyway. And I thought, well, uh, you know, if I'm going to play Blaze Blue, I want to fight Teremi, you know, get that uh, practicing against fighting Teremi. But in instead of Yuki Teremi, it was a uh, spooky Teremi. And I'm like, oh, oh there, th this must be uh, like a buggy copy or something. But I, I didn't think much about it. But then when I went to play the game, uh, I noticed something was wrong. Ragnar was there, but there there was a vampire in the game, and that that was very uh, scary and, and spooky and stuff. And I was scared, and I thought, well, what do I do? But then I thought, hey, you know, I'll get them with a, a good old wee Ragnar combo. So that's what I did. <laughs> But then, then the strangest thing happened, uh, the vampire took no damage, I was the one who took damage, uh, even though I was the one doing the attacking, so I thought, what did I do, uh, may maybe I cornered scissors? <laughs> but that didn't work either, you know, I only took more damage, so I thought, what did I do, and then I thought, I need to pull up my secret trump card, a thing that I never do, uh, except in dire circumstances, and that was to just spam 5A. <laughs> And and it worked. Uh, my my plan was working. I'd taken the, the vampire's health down with just spamming five A. Uh, but then a, a a haunted plot twist. I also ended up low in health, so I thought, right, I need to do something that they would never expect. And it, it, that this is at one. What one has all it takes, and this is when I realised it. Uh, I had to go in with one last five A. So, so I managed to win and defeated the hauntedness of this game, but then something really spooky happened that I could never have imagined. All of a sudden, uh, I somehow I didn't even notice th that the game made me play as, as Platinum, and I was like, what, what is this? Why am I playing as this character of all things? Uh, but I, I was going to power through and defeat the game, uh, but then I realised that obviously, you know, I managed to uh, kill the vampire, so I was now fighting a witch with big tits and I thought, oh this is a this is gonna be a powerful opponent. You know, you know, I've played so much Blaze Blue that I, I know power when I see one and I thought, oh this is this is a you know, one million haunted and and I don't know if I can do this but I'm gonna go with it. So 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 I knew I had to get courage and go through with all my power. And uh, yeah, that plan didn't work. Uh, but I had one last trick up my sleeve. I was gonna play as Susano, but on its own because I knew that wouldn't be enough. So so I took it one step further and went maximum edge, and unironically chose "Must Die" as the music. <laughs> Thank you.
So then the game was actually the one that got spooked because the complete edginess along with my half ass the Suno game play scared the game so much that it went into the systems, unlocked its own hauntedness setting and then it turned the haunted setting off uh, so it would never bother me again. But I wasn't forgive it for all that it's done so I decided that I wasn't done with this yet and I personally turned the haunted setting back on because I had unfinished business. The reason I turned the haunted setting back on was during this time I'd realised something that I tell you which couldn't be the mastermind because it's not spooky enough to be the mastermind of this story so uh, clearly it was the vampire who was the secret mastermind all along so it turned out that the vampire was actually uh, a secret character possessed by the ghost of Dracula who was inside the haunted blaze blue uh, and they th and they were ready to have a fight you know hey, the ghost of Dracula the ghost of Dracula thought it could beat me, but it didn't know that I, that I can't really place this and know that well. It's just a half-assed gameplay, and I was secretly an Asriel main the whole time. Uh, so not only have I just spooked it, uh, but the, the haunted blaze blue cartridge uh, that had summoned forth its servant, the ghost of Dracula, to fight me in the form of an anime vampire girl, uh, they were all now spooked. All of them were spooked because, uh, y you know, surprise Azrael main, and then I showed them the power of Unga. <laughs> And then it turned out that the, the Unga hit Dracula's ghost so hard that it knocked him all the way to the the tribe of Shikaka, where uh, the people there um, use the, their their sacred techniques to feed the ghost to their sacred harvest gods. Um, who, who who know a thing or two about harvesting because they play Harvest Moon ten times a week, um, six to nine hours a day. Well, you see, because, because the Harvest Gods are a bit more advanced uh, with days and hours than us humans. So what? Ha so they they ate the ghost uh, in return for Sakaka getting a good harvest. Uh, and as for the haunted blaze blue cartridge, uh, it um tried to flee the scene and go to its secret hideout that it had located on Pluto. <laughs> Except on the way there um, it had diarrhea in space and, and sadly died a, a space diarrhea death. Uh, very sad but not really because it, it was a haunted blaze blue so we don't really have to pity it uh, and, and that's how this really real true scary story ends. Some say to this day if you play Blaze Blue at 3am and then look out the window up at the night sky you can see the, the space diarrhea left by the haunted Blaze Blue.